The Steam Deck is freaking awesome for, for lots of good reasons, but the best part about the deck isn't the great controls or the portability or the amazing battery life or the beautiful OLED screen or the rad sticker that I put on mine. No, the best part about the deck is the operating system, Steam OS. That's what turns the deck from a gaming PC that plays PC games into what feels more like a console. SteamOS means that you don't have to faff about with Windows, drivers, Microsoft Edge, Copilot, Bing, Task Manager, Windows updates, the virus that you got from that questionable website. On SteamOS, the experience is simple, like a console. It takes all the Windows bullcrap and throws it out the window. Pun intended. Obviously, if there are games that need Windows, you know, like Fortnite or Minecraft, you won't be able to play those on SteamOS. But if you're not 11 years old and you don't care about Fortnite or Taylor Swift or Minecraft, then the trade-off might be worth it for you. It certainly was for me. Now that I've been using SteamOS on the deck, and now that I've installed SteamOS on the ROG Ally X, I don't want to game on Windows anymore. The more I use SteamOS, the more I want my gaming devices to be simple, console-like experiences. Lots of people I know and lots of people in my comments have said that they use the Steam Deck as a console more than a handheld. It seems super common, and I get that. I have a big badass gaming PC that can play AAA games at crazy settings, but I find I usually prefer playing lower spec in indie games with a controller, and that because I have so many of my games downloaded and updated on my deck, it's just so easy to plug that into my dock and use that. It's ready to go all day every day, just like your mom. Baking me cookies, of course. Ah, oh, what a sweetie. And this got me thinking, which is rare for me. I don't do that too often, but it did make me think about the Steam machines that Valve was working on a few years ago. And it made me wonder what the gaming landscape would be like if they actually did that thing and, and made them, made Steam machines. And then when I made my recent video installing Bazite on my ROG Ally X, I realized that there's actually a Bazite installer specifically for mini PCs. I made a mental note of that and I put it in my brain with my other mental notes and I told myself I should make a video trying to install Bazite and making a sweet little mini PC steam machine. And lucky for you, this is that video. <laughs> I spoil you. You know that. Bazite on a mini PC. PC. Bazite is a custom Linux image built on Fedora Linux that uses SteamOS as the front end for gaming. It turns your mini PC into like a docked Steam Deck. Uh, basically a steam machine. Because we're making steam machines, I'm going to focus on mini PCs, but if you want to do this on a desktop PC or some other device like a handheld or whatever, hey, I'm, I'm not here to stop you. I'm not your mother. And if I was your mother, I'd tell you to subscribe to TechDweeb because he's a nice boy. If you're going to do this on something that's not a mini PC, you're going to want to check out the requirements on the Bazai guide because there are some uh, some things to pay attention to. You can pick any mini PC, really, as long as it has a modern processor, you should be good. I've done lots of mini PC videos on my channel, so check those out if you want some reviews and stuff. I'll toss a few links to some great options at different price points in the doodad below if you want to pick one up. You can use a mini PC with an Intel processor, but I suggest a Ryzen-based mini PC with at least a 5000 series APU. Here's a quick overview chart thing of the sorts of games that you can play and the performance you'll get on various mini PC chipsets. And here's a picture of my cat. Today I'm going to be using this, the Geekom A7. It is a really solid device, really nice looking, really powerful, really tiny. However, I need to caveat this by saying that out of the box, this thing has uh, some serious problems with gaming. My boy Iceberg Tech did a review of this thing and he found some super weird stuttering issues. I was talking to him and eventually we figured out that there was an issue with this PC and specifically crucial memory, which is unfortunately what it comes with. When I swapped that out for non-crucial RAM, it worked totally fine. The crucial RAM that was in here did work fine in another mini PC that I had, so I just did a tradey boo. It's easy enough to fix, just an extra annoyance or expense. I'll show you the gaming performance of this thing later in the video because it's super impressive, but the main reason that I wanted to use it for this project is that it's tiny, smaller than most mini PCs, it's sexy, I mean just look at it, it's so dang nice, and it's powerful. This thing has a Ryzen 9 7940HS APU with integrated Radeon 780M GPU, 32GB of DDR5 RAM, Wi-Fi 6E, 
Bluetooth 5.2, two terabytes of NVMe storage. It's a freaking beast, but there is one thing keeping this thing from being truly ready to turn into a steam machine. Ah, there we go. Much better. I'm setting this up as a dedicated Steam machine, so I have no need of Windows on here. I'm just going to install Bazite right over top of the Windows partition. However, if you do want to keep your Windows installed and dual boot Bazite, you can do that. Bazite has a very thorough guide that explains everything that you need to know. There's a link in the doodad below. Or another option is you can get a fresh new drive. You know, you can buy a one terabyte or two terabyte or four terabyte NVMe SSD and have a completely fresh drive with SteamOS on it. And then if you ever want to go back to Windows, you can just swap the drives instead of wiping it and reinstall it. I'll link to a few good options at different prices in the doodad. The first step that we're going to need to do is uh, get the Bazite image flashed onto a USB drive. So we'll need to get the image. Just head over to the Bazite website, bazite.gg, and click on the download Bazite button. Since this is a mini PC, we're going to select home theater PC and select AMD or Intel for the GPU. Ours is AMD. And then you can pick your desktop environment. I'm going with KDE and then say yes to gaming mode and then click download Bazite deck. Now you can flash this image onto a USB drive. Any drive with at least 10 gigabytes of space is good. I'm using this Kingston Data Traveler drive. You can use Rufus if you just want to flash the image, but one thing I've been doing lately is using this tool called Ventoy. It, it's totally free, link below. So just run the Ventoy 2 disk application, uh, select your USB drive from the list of drives, and then click install. After that's done, you can open the drive and copy over your image file right onto the drive. And that's it. Now we, now we need to boot the device and install Bazite. You can disable secure boot before you start this process if you want to, unless you're doing some dual booting with Windows stuff. On the A7, you need to use the F7 key to get to the boot menu. And then you're going to need to select your USB drive to boot to. And then in this list, you can select your Bazite image and press enter, select normal mode, then select Bazite deck. It'll show a bunch of code stuff like you're in the matrix. And then th this is the Bazite installer. And there's two things that you need to do in here. First, select installation destination. And then in here, select free up space by removing partitions. And then click at the top and it'll show you all the partitions that you have on your disk. Select each one and click delete and then click reclaim space. And uh, the other part we need to do is user creation. So, you know, choose a username and add a password that you can remember because you're going to need it. Then you can click begin installation. It'll show you a loading thing. This part will take a while, maybe five to 10 minutes. And then you can click reboot system and then you'll get this blue screen. You can click continue boot here unless you have secure boot enabled and then you'll need to enroll the key or whatever. Check the guide if you want to know what to do there. And then it'll be doing some more installing, uh, reboot again and just let it do its thing. Don't touch it. Hey, I said don't touch it. Yeah, get out of here. And then you'll be in the Bazite installer. And here you'll want to connect to your Wi-Fi. Uh, click cancel when it asks you about encryption and then log into your Steam account. Now you can go through the Bazite install wizard thing. Click next and in here you can install extra stuff if you'd like, but it could take a while. So that's up to you. You can install this stuff later. I, I just clicked install and then uh, it'll do the encryption thing again. Cancel that. And then you'll need to enter the password that you chose during the installer. And then in here you can install even more stuff. I'm not going to bother now. And then this next part looks like it's doing something, but it's not. So you can just click next and then click done and then restart the PC using the Bazite button in the bottom left and you'll be taken to the SteamOS setup. Click through the options and then it's going to update and do more installing. Just let it do its thing and then it's going to restart and then you'll be greeted by another login screen. So log in with your Steam account again and there you're done. Wasn't that quick? No, it wasn't. Now, because the goal is to make this a Steam machine, let's start by connecting up our, our controller. So uh, I'm using a Bluetooth controller, so uh, just set the controller to pairing mode and turn on Bluetooth and select your controller. One more bit of housekeeping is you may find that the audio wants to come out of the headphone jack on your Steam machine. You can change that here in the audio settings, select external device to get it coming out of your HDMI, but the problem is that you'll have to do this every time that you boot your Steam machine. That's no good. So what uh, you would want to do here is boot into desktop mode with the power menu and in desktop mode, click your volume icon, then click the little button up here to configure the device. And then beside the built-in audio controller, select off 
from this drop down. That will disable the headphone jack and then you'll only get HDMI audio moving forward. So you won't have to set this every time. And then you can restart from the Bazite menu. And now you're ready to use your new Steam machine. Everything you would do on a deck, you can do here, more or less. To open the quick settings, you can press the Xbox button and A. In here, you can do all the stuff with your screen, enable VRR or HDR. You can enable the performance overlay. You cannot change the TDP though, which is actually a good thing on a mini PC because generally speaking, the PC should be running cool and quiet while you're not gaming and only ramp up when the demand is placed on the processor and GPU. And unlike Windows, it shouldn't be randomly getting super loud and hot because it's doing some big software update in the background or indexing your files when you don't want it to. However, if you do want TDP control, you can install Decky Loader and then there's a plugin called Simple Decky TDP. I played around with that and it works well. Lots of options in there if you want them. But but that's it. Th that's what you get. And it's it's a glorious thing. It's so easy to game like this. And it really does feel like a little gaming console. What a fun little project. I love this. So uh, I said I'd show you some game performance on the Geekom A7. So let's do that now. This thing is a, actually a legit gaming PC. I mean, it's not desktop PC performance. Let's be real. It's a mini PC. But keep in mind the size of this. It's not just a mini PC, but it's a small mini PC. A truly little Steam machine, and it runs everything that you could want to play. I'll have some uh, gameplay footage running while I blab about this thing. So you, you can see the settings and the performance figures and the temps and all that on the screen while I uh, talk. First, the bad stuff. The RAM thing that I mentioned earlier is a, a huge bummer. But if you can get that sorted like I did, it's really an amazing mini PC that I can highly recommend. It's sleek, attractive, and it makes an amazing little mini Steam machine. So for gaming, generally I, I let the PC go all out as long as I'm getting the experience that I want. On some more action heavy third person games, I like to run closer to 60 FPS. So I'll lower the settings just so I could achieve that. But on some slower pace games I find around 40 FPS is fine since it lets me get the games looking nicer. And if you're on a high refresh rate display, you can lower the graphics way down to get high refresh rate experiences. And you don't need to worry about messing around with the TDP the way you would on a handheld since we're, we're not on a handheld. We, we, there's no battery here. Just let the mini PC do its thing. The Geekom A7 runs pr pretty darn cool considering the performance you get. It runs nearly silent when you're not pushing it, and it does get loud when you're playing hard to run games, but it's no louder than most mini PCs that I've tested. And the easy way to keep that under control is to just choose settings that don't push it uh, all the way to the max, or you can lock the FPS. And I just keep coming back to the size of it because that's such a big factor with this little thing. It's nuts that you get this level of performance at this size. But that said, I've tested out Bazite on a few mini PCs and even the cheaper 5700U mini PCs have given me a surprisingly complete gaming experience. You don't need to go all out and buy the best of the best. Even a modest mini PC can make an amazing Steam machine. I definitely recommend checking out the, the mini PCs that I have linked in the doodad below if you're interested in getting one. And I have reviews for all of them linked down there too if you want to see the uh, performance for yourself. And if you do get yourself a mini PC and you want to give Bazai to go, I hope this video was helpful or at the very least uh, entertaining. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to help you out if I can. And let me know if you have any requests or suggestions for future videos. Some of my best videos are ones that were suggested to me by Dwee like you so let it rip in the comments below make sure you get subscribed if you haven't done that for some dumb reason and that's it from me for today i'm tech weeb thanks for watching Bye bye